What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Matthew Shack, live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, um, uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> Everything that could be bestowed upon this audience that's given me so much support and love. Uh, happy Kwanzaa. And if you don't celebrate, happy holidays. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I've gotten a myriad of texts. Everyone's texting me with the same clip. Shaq, did you see what Josh Jacobs said after last night's uh, game? Uh, losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers 13 to 10. Um, what do you think? You know, he, he said that he is, you know, tired of it. He said he's tired of the bullshit. He said it's bullshit that we're not doing what we need to do. He said that we're not um, helping the defense. Uh, defense did what they needed to do. We had opportunities. We had, uh, we need to run the football. We went away from it. He said he's tired of busting his ass, coming to work, busting his ass, seeing everybody else bust their ass to have those kind of outcomes happen. And uh, and everyone's asking me, what do I think about it? You know, people are going to jump off, jump off the uh, ledge because when it's the Raiders, it's always, uh, you know, helter skelter. You know, like, uh, the, the, you know, it's always the sky's falling, bro. But not with me. Been a fan too long to get caught up in all the crazy shit that you guys love. But with that being said, um, and I'm going to play this video. I'm going to play it too so you can see it for those of you guys who haven't seen it. So it'll be on the end of this. What do I think about it? Josh Jacobs is right, bro. Josh Jacobs is a winner. That's what happens when you're a winner. When you're a winner, you get, you get fucking pissed off and frustrated behind that uh, inept game that they played offensively. Uh, and like he said, defense played well enough to win. Uh, but... The offense sputtered and didn't score any points for in the second half again. So this guy went to Alabama, won national championships. His former teammate, Najee Harris, is on the other side of the ball. He comes from winning, bro. And and where he's at now, he's not winning. And he's losing. And not only he losing, he's losing spectacularly. He's losing embarrassingly, Okay. And any other, any other Lee you can come up with that ain't Bruce Lee because Bruce Lee didn't lose and shit. Not like that. But the bottom line is, man, what is Josh Jacobs going to do at the end of the year? He doesn't really have a say so if Josh McDaniels and Dave Zeigler decide to franchise tag him. He'll be there. But, you know, I just think that he's frustrated and I believe it. I believe that he had the right to say what he said. I think I give him respect for the fact that he said it. Because a lot of those guys in that locker room aren't going to say that, man. They're they're happy with the money that they're getting. They're happy that they're in the league. They're happy with their Instagram followers and their TikTok followers and 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 the you know the attention they may be getting from from the, from 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 the females and you know living their lives, bro. Not everybody loves football. Not everybody's passionate about what they do. There's pe people at your job that's not passionate about what they do. They just come to work because it pays the bills, pays the mortgages, it feeds the kids, you know, it pays the car insurance, it pays the, you know, keeps the lighters on. So I think Josh, Josh Jacobs, man, him saying what he needed to say, then get him off, get it off his chest. But at the end of the day, it's really not his decision as far as whether or not he'll be franchise tagged. But if they, if the Raiders don't do that, man, Josh Jacobs is going to have a, a brilliant future. This is a kid that's not going to have, a problem getting a job. He's the leading rusher in the National Football League, and he only got the ball 15 times, bro. Like, come on, dog. Like, get this man the football. We've been saying this, you know? But let me go ahead and play this video, man. Once again, man, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. Once again, a whole myriad of things. I don't want to leave anybody out. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. You know, like I said, love you guys, man. Thank you for the support of the channel. Um, but let me go ahead and play this video for y'all, man, so you can see what he said. But I agree with him 100%. But at the end of the day, got to move on to the next game, bro. Gonna got, got time to sit around crying about what we didn't do. We got to do better. It feels like, oh, it feels like uh, kind of another loss where you, you guys let it slip your, through your hands. Um, and as you look back at some of these losses, these close losses, how disappointing is that that a lot of this has been self-inflicted? Yeah, man, it's bullshit, for real. I mean, it's bullshit. Uh, and, it's, and, and it's on us, you know. Uh, 
everybody wanted to, you know, talk about the defense before they they made their stops when they were supposed to. Shit, we got to help them out. And, you know, I'm tired of saying we got to fucking help them out. And it's just frustrating. So, yeah. You feel like they were uh, focused on top of the running game? That's what kind of their focus I mean, yeah. Playing? I mean, we, we, still, we still had opportunities to make plays. You know, I, I feel like in times where we was close and we, we felt like we was about to get a big one, we went away from it, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and the pass game was working early. So, you know, that is what it is. But to win these games, you know, especially at the long, at, at the end of the stretch, especially when you up, you know, against a team like this in the cold, you got to run the ball. So, I mean, that's, that's a factor on everybody involved um, from top to bottom.